Hello, Wildcats. I'm Pedro Quintana, reporting from the Orion. Here's what we're working on today on May 6, 2013. Police were stretched thin this past weekend, responding to couch fires, assaults, and impossible shots fired. Police were at the 500 block of Pomona Avenue, where officers arrived to an aggressive crowd. Two people were arrested on suspicion of resisting arrest or obstructing a police officer. No gun was found at the scene. Follow theorion.com for more on this developing story. Well, we had some wacky weather out there this past weekend. Allison's going to let us know what we can expect in our work week. Allison? Thanks, Pedro. Hope you all had a fun Cinco de Mayo weekend. Now for today's weather. Today will be partly cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms with the highs in the 70s and the lows in the 50s. Tomorrow will also be partly cloudy with the highs in the 70s and the lows in the 50s. Now back to you. The Chico community visited the Cedar Grove to learn about the endangered species fair put on by the Butte County Environmental Council. The festival included live music and food, and including animals to pet for the kids. No. It's for our outdoor education, or environmental education program, and the class goes out through different learning modules, like there's a water module, um, wildlife module, and endangered species different learning, um, learning modules. For this, we're just doing an um, interactive thing for kids so they can learn about why uh, species are being used. In sports news, track and field clinched CCAA titles this past weekend. Men's track and field won their 10th consecutive title, while the women's track and field won their, grabbed their fourth consecutive title. Men's baseball are heading to the CCAA tournament after splitting their final home series 2-2 two two with Cal State LA. You can follow all your sports highlights at theryan.com. Well, that is all for today. I'm Pedro Quintana, reporting from the Ryan. We'll see you tomorrow.